guys, what's going on? And welcome to day three of 13 days of liquid lipstick. And today we have is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. Now these are not a new launch by any means. It has been out for I think like a year. And I have very recently picked these up and I got like four shades. So as always, check out the description box below to see the shades that I picked for myself. And for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC. Now before we can get into the description, the formula, the lip swatches and the cons, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notify whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right into the video. So first, let's quickly dive right into the features of this liquid lipstick. Now, on Nykaa, it says that it's an innovative, weightless liquid lip matte pigment for that ultra-flexible lasting wear. It's a bold matte liquid lip color that gives an intense and long-lasting finish. The kiss-proof, touch-proof and waterproof formula holds on up to 12 hours. The flat doe applicator provides a precise application and full coverage in one swipe. Now, the claims are high up there. Now these Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color, they are priced at 650 rupees for 5.5 ml of product and they come in 23 shades. So this is how the liquid lipstick looks like and at the back you have is the shade name mentioned right here. And this is how the doe foot applicator looks like which is kind of flattened at the tip which is actually easy for application. Now before we talk about the formula, let's go through with the lip swatches. Alright, so let's talk about the formula of these liquid lipsticks. So they are this whipped moussey kind of a texture and they are very comfortable on the lips as well. Now these dry down pretty fast so it takes like 10 to 15 seconds to dry down and once it dries it looks super matte but at the same time it's not that sucking the moisture out of your lips kind of a dry matte formula. Now if I have to compare this formula to any other liquid lipstick, I think it's the closest to the NYX lip lingerie. Uh, not much of the matte lip cream it is, but it is more uh, like the lip lingerie. Uh, because it, they both have the whipped moussey kind of a texture and this shade in the Rimmel one which is Love Bite, it has a very similar pigmentation that like the NYX one and it also dries down the same way, it feels the same way once it dries as well. Now these lasted for quite some time for me. Now today I wore the shade Love Bite for like I think 7-7.5 seven, seven hours mark and uh, I was wearing a mask and I had to run a lot of errands today and everything but of course I didn't wear the mask throughout the 7 hours but on and off I had to wear the mask. So this is how the mask looks like. So you can see the foundation stain right around over here and there's a lipstick stain over here. So yeah, this is how it looked and by end of the day, it still looked pretty good. But then, bear in mind, I did not eat anything. It was just water and filter coffee, my favorite. So I just had filter coffee and water and this is how it looked end of the day. Now this formula, however, if I had to have my lunch or dinner, this will fade off completely because it is that moussey texture. 
even for the removal of these lipsticks i could just use a wet wipe and it was easily removed off my lips i didn't have to go for like oil cleanser or even a micellar water for that matter so that is that about the formula now moving on to the cons now there is so much inconsistency when it comes to the formula especially the lighter shades now the darker shades that is love bite and fire starter they are amazing they went on so well on the other hand the lighter shade that is mocha as well as pink blink they went on a bit streaky and while i was pressing my lips to blend like you know whenever you apply you press your lips to blend it it kind of was patchy as well so it, the formula was so different compared to the darker shades and the second con is to do with the arm swatch that is on the nika app which is kind of misleading uh, because I will insert the picture of what I'm talking about. Uh, in this, you can see the shade Mocha, which is the one, two, three, four, the fifth shade. It doesn't look like that at all. Like, even in the darker skin tone, it does not look like that. You guys saw the swatches. It literally, I'm a medium skin tone. And on me, it looked like my skin color. But it did not look like this, I don't know, the peachy color that it shows in this. So I feel that the arm swatch that is available, it's quite misleading. The second arm swatch that they have, it is kind of helpful provided they actually named the shades. So that is kind of sad because getting a shade that actually does not suit for your skin tone, that is so heartbreaking and bank breaking as well because these are not cheap. It's 650 bucks. So the price point is like kind of like mid range and it's not exactly affordable it's not exactly high end as well it is like touching a little bit of mid range you know it's like in between and lastly even about the um, the chart the lip swatch chart that they have i'll insert the picture in that the shade mocha as well as pink blink does not look like that at all so overall i feel that just to be on a safer side pick any darker shades if you really are interested especially the shade love bite as well as the shade fire starter they are beautiful colors the formula is really a plus plus now i do not know about the other darker shades so yeah that is that about the rimmel stay matte liquid lip color now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful if it was do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's a Shania on instagram and it's a Shania on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye